Oh, hello YouTube. A few people have um, have asked me about uh, my uh, charging thing that I built to put power into the into the back of my car, to the rear battery. It's a real simple system that I built uh, myself. It pretty much just works on the ignition and then uh, through a simple relay so, uh, a relay switch uh, that can be switched on and off uh, willy nilly. Uh, so you can either have it on without the ignition turned on or off, completely off, so no matter what, it won't turn on. Or you can have it, although it only comes on when, you, when your engine's running, which, uh, which is what it's mostly set to. Um, so, it's, uh, so it only charges the battery up. It never, uh, it never draws power from the battery. So basically, I've got my tap in here. I know it's not much of a tap, but it's just a, a simple wire uh, in there on, a, on the nut. That's actually a fuse, and a fuse goes, goes through that. I've got my wire tapped into that, it comes down here, it runs down underneath this corner down there, and it runs into the car through the firewall. And it's the only hole I could find in the firewall without actually drilling one. And then, I can't really do it because I've parked really close to the wall, it comes through under the firewall down there in that corner, just underneath where the speaker is, and it goes down to the middle there, to my centre console. It's not much of a centre console, let me just go around and show you what that does. Turn my, put my boot down, because I can't get in. Oh. That's my door. Right then. So as it goes, I've not got my key in the ignition, the key is out. And if I want to, key's on the seat, look. If I want to, I can turn my rear battery on so it helps start the car up so if I was to go and start the car up now out of gear you watch the needle on that ah where's my key you turn the brightness down on that yeah I even made it so you can dim it down a bit there you go you can see the needle now a bit better <coughs> so I go and turn that on you can see it moved a little bit Oops, I've got music playing, don't want that. And I'm gonna start my car up. You can see it draws all the power from the back of the uh, of the car. The funny little popping sound was my doors locking and unlocking themselves. They'll lock again in a second. There you go. Now, if I rev up a bit, you know, it doesn't really move the needle that much. But if I put my headlights on, it'll make it flick over a bit. There you go. Only just a little bit, <clears throat> but that uh, that obviously that puts power into the into the uh, ba battery in the back, and uh, through through the uh, you know obviously through the uh, ammeter. I've not got a voltmeter on here, but then that literally just goes underneath all this random collection of wires that you can see under here. Down there, through here, down past the carpet, underneath this panel here, which is hanging off because uh, I've not put it back after removing my, all my sub wiring out. It goes, I'll pull my seat back, down underneath here, but you can probably just see it if I move that. There, there you go, look, there it is. That wire. It goes around the back, under the seat, under the uh, the back uh, back rest of the seat and into the boot where my battery goes. Uh, of course, the other cool thing I can do with this is have it so that it's off with the ignition. So my footwell lights are set to come on. I can have my footwell lights on with the ignition if I want to by flicking this switch. I like making everything of mine in a car so that if I turn the ignition off. I can have it, although it comes on without, just by, shut up face plate, just by flicking a switch. So from, I've got that set to ignition there, centre is off, and up means it's on permanently, which means it's going directly from the battery. So fully down is off. Uh, I've got two switches there, one for the footwell lights, and one for the uh, light that I never really use that much now because I've got one blown 
as you can see it's got all glass smashed in it. So I never really use those much now, but the footwell lights I'm just using to demonstrate to you that my ignition is on or off. So at the moment my uh, my uh, control relay is currently um, in the ignition position, so when I turn my ignition on it engages the battery in the boot to help start the car up. Now of course I can turn that off and isolate it by flicking the switch, which is the same switch as what's up there, to the middle position. You can see that, there you go, there's a switch there. It goes up, it goes, that, that's the middle setting which is off, completely isolated, and then up again for permanently on, which means it's on no matter what, whether the ignition's on or off, doesn't matter. It's this little simple thing that I thought uh, I'll make it because I'm into my radios and I don't really want to drain the battery in my car, uh, the front battery. So if I do, if, if I was to drain a battery, I'd rather drain an auxiliary battery and make it also, although that uh, my engine starts up off the front one still, but um, but doesn't, uh, you know, you don't have to bump start the engine because you've drained your battery flat. Whether with this system, it's perfectly safe. Um, you can completely drain that battery down to nothing. Uh, start the start the engine up fine, and as soon as the engine's running, it'll then start putting power into the back battery again. So, uh, like now, for instance, I can uh, I just start the engine up again. There you go. You just saw it flick over all the way to uh, drawing 40 amps from the back battery there. And it's putting some more back into it, and uh, it'll eventually settle down to zero again. But if I wanted to. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that was my um, that was my ignition, uh, my fuel pump priming. I can turn it completely off by setting it to the middle setting, which turns the light out on it, and then I can start the engine up without it, which is like that, and which it still starts up perfectly fine because the front battery in this is now good. It's not a bad one, but uh, yeah, it's just a little simple system that I built. Uh, purely to charge up uh, my battery in the boot and uh, yeah, this is just a video to explain how it's done, it's quite simple if I can position myself good in the car I can show you some of the stuff in the back I've got a speaker in there as well as you can see which puts power to the radio but I have behind here got uh, quite some I can't really see it on the uh, on the camera screen but yeah, it's there's quite a bit of stuff behind there to do with this uh, with this panel on the front. It's all fused, of course. Um, I've got a I think it's a 200 amp fuse running from the back to the front of the car. So if anything was to go wrong, both batteries have got the fuse on it, uh, which is good. But uh, yeah, if I want to, I can isolate the two, uh, you know, very you know safely. And all of my auxiliary lighting and everything here all runs from the back battery. So I've got no chance of draining my front battery if ever I, uh, if ever I was mistaken to leave my radio on, for instance, like that, and then get out of the car and leave it. Because obviously the radio can be just left on without the keys in ignition. But uh, obviously you always see it because you go down there to open the door. So you'll see it's turned on and go, oh, I've left my radio on. Flick it off. So uh, yeah, uh, my mum's just turned up. <laughs> She's got her music blasting away. But uh, yeah, that's just a little show of my uh, of my charge relay uh, charge controller. Hope you guys like it. Uh, please comment on it. Tell me what you think of it. It's quite a simple thing. I'd love to put an, uh, a voltmeter on there as well, but like I say, I don't really need one because I know my alternator's fine, and uh, I know a car's voltage anyway, so it's not a massively necessary uh, thing. But I do like to know where my power's going. So that's why I stuck an amp meter on that, that does charge and discharge. So there you go, people of YouTube. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.